Hello and welcome to our final video in our Cookie Do web video series teaching you how to use Cookie Do from start to finish and all the features in between. So in our videos previously, we've covered how to set up your Cookie Do account, search and save for recipes, meal plan, and also how to use a new feature, which is created recipes. And today in this video, I'm going to take you through a brand new feature, which is how to adjust your portion sizes within Cookie Do for the recipes. I know this has been asked for for probably as long as I've worked at Thermomix all the time. It's a really exciting feature that only happened in the last couple of months. And so I'm excited to show you how easy it is to adjust your portion sizes. So this is a feature called Scaled Recipes. And if I jump over into a Cookie Do account, into Cookie Do here, you'll be able to see Cookie Do. And so one of the first questions we get asked is, how do you find, you know, what recipes have been scaled for us? Because there are two parts to scaled recipes. So the first are recipes that have been scaled by us and our recipe development team and tested. So this is so that you know you have guaranteed success. So we've taken the wall work algorithm for scaling recipes and tested them at different portion sizes to make sure that it works. The second part is if we haven't tested all of the recipes, which unfortunately we haven't yet, that doesn't mean that you can't change the portion sizes. Bullock have released through the feature created recipes the ability for you to scale your own recipes. So I'm going to show you both ways right now. So one of the easiest ways to find out if a recipe has been pre-scaled and tested is just to click on the recipe. So I'm going to click on pizza dough. And you'll see in the right-hand corner, you've got serving sizes, four pieces. So that's the default serving size for this recipe. If I click on that, you can see that the recipe is available in several serving sizes with guided cooking and guaranteed success. So that means that we have tested the recipe in two, four and six portions so that we know that it works. So you can go ahead and click on six portions if you're feeding a crowd. And you can see the serving size has been updated, so the ingredients have been increased and the preparation time might be adjusted too because you might find that you need a slightly longer kneading or processing time. If I change my mind and decide I wanna go down to two portions, I'll just click on two and then you can see again the ingredients and the preparation steps have been adjusted. So if I know I want to cook this two portion recipe, I can then just go to cook today or I can add to my meal plan or I can add into a collection. And so when you add into a collection or add into your meal plan, it will add at the selected serving size. So it's going to add the two portion version of that recipe into your meal plan or into your collection. So you don't need to worry about updating the serving size anymore. So that's one way. The other way, if you're wanting to search for all the recipes that are, have been scaled down to say two portions, if you just go into your search bar and hit filters, and then you want to find your portion sizes. And so if I'm looking for recipes that feed two, because I'm in a couple with no kids or a two-person household, I'm going to hit two and it's going to bring up all of the recipes that have been tested for two portions. And so I click on that and I can see that there's 231 results in Australia. And so then I can just scroll through and choose a recipe that I know is available in two portions. So that's one of the easy ways that you can find recipes available in your portion size. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that filter and bring up all of the recipes because what I wanna show you is if we haven't scaled and tested a recipe, what options do you have? So I'm gonna scroll down and find a recipe that hasn't been tested. And it's the coffee and date muffins. And so if I click on portion size here, you'll be able to see that it hasn't been tested in multiple portion sizes. So it's saying there's no other sizes available, but if this isn't the right serving size for you, you can use created recipes to calculate your serving size and it will adjust some of those things like ingredients and preparation step for you. So I'm gonna click on make it your own. 
And it's going to bring up a warning here that just says, we haven't tested this recipe. So if you're scaling up a recipe, it's really important to be mindful of the quantity that you're adding to the mixing bowl, that you're not going over any volume limits, that it's gonna cause a safety hazard, that you're just being mindful of that. And also just knowing that the recipe hasn't been tested. So there might be some variations in success. I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna click start. And you'll see now I'm in the created recipe setup and up the top, it's got this nifty little feature where I can calculate new serving size. So I can go up all the way to 15 servings if I want, or all the way down to seven servings. Now I'm, there's just my husband and I and my toddler daughter, who's probably not gonna have a coffee muffin. So I wanna go the least amount of servings as possible. So I'm gonna hit seven. And you can see the ingredients have been changed and if needed, the preparation steps might've been changed too. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. I'm just going to take a look at the ingredients because you'll find sometimes things like eggs that don't divide really easily might be a bit off. And so you can see here, I've got one and a quarter eggs. Now, I don't really want to use a quarter egg. And I know that in a muffin and in quite a moist muffin like this, it's not going to make heaps of a difference. So I'm just going to go ahead and edit that and just get rid of that quarter egg. Now, again, I am changing the recipe. So the recipe development team would probably <laughs> be um, screaming at me right now and being like, no, no, that's not our recipe. But I'm really comfortable making that change and just testing it to see if it works with one egg. If you wanted to be safer, you could up it to two if you wanted to or use the quarter if you're you know, comfortable with the waste or have a use for a three quarter egg. No issues there. So I'm just going to go and hit confirm because all the rest of it looks pretty straightforward in terms of ingredients. And now I hit done and you'll see that's now saved in my created recipes. So if you're not sure if you're coming back and not sure where that's saved, it's really easy. Just click on my recipes and then in your created recipes on the left there. And then this will bring up all of your created recipes that you've created, including some of your scaled recipes as well. So that really wraps it up for our cookie do series. I hope that you have learned something, that you've discovered some new features or you've been inspired to start meal planning. Super important. Please do, please do. It will change your life. But um, yeah, more than anything, we hope that you've been inspired to jump in, to have a search and apply it and to find some new recipes and to fall even further in love with your Thermomix. So thank you for your time and thanks for joining us and happy cooking.